Hello and welcome back to the quarry, welcome back to jail, and welcome back to Laura and Max's story. Yeah, Laura is currently in the pool house in present time, and this this is her relaying her story back to the others that she's just met, the other camp counselors. So we have come to we've come to a question. Max has said, Do we believe Officer Ted Raimi or do we not believe Officer Hackett about the story? that his family are potentially all werewolves and given everything that we've seen and given that Laura has had to perform a little bit of home surgery I think I'm probably gonna say we believe him I believe him you can't tell me you really trust that guy now I didn't say that I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff not the science bit I don't know what he wants He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Um, empathic? That wasn't you, or resigned? It's not like you're in control. Hmm, interesting. Interesting that they also... I mean, they they know that Officer Hackett seems to have this problem, but they're still like, yeah, whatever, let's just peace out of here. Instead of, hey, let us out of the cells and we can work together on this. Hmm, interesting. So, empathic or resigned, it seems like these two choices are the same. Let's go with empathic. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. He said, let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor. Go up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <laughs> what was that? Me. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers and that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. 
That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> that wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... No, I, I still can. This... It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Ooh, not until Chris is dead. Oh, hell yeah, we are. I think not until Chris is dead. Although, isn't it the arch werewolf? Is it same as vampire rules where... Killing the vampire that made you a vampire doesn't necessarily stop the curse. You have to kill the person at the head of the tree. Kind of like a pyramid scheme. But in... Oh no, that would actually be a pyramid scheme. Hmm, hell yeah we are. I'm just gonna go with the hell yeah we are. Also, that voice. The whispering voice that is probably very hard to hear when they were being guided to the door. Does sound a lot like the fortune teller lady. So, I'm just gonna go with reassuring how yeah we are. Hell yeah we are. 
That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. And I made my way here, to camp. Left, left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Honest, they're not there now, or reassuring, they're probably fine. Hmm. Well, they're probably, I mean, as far as these guys are concerned, probably dog food. But I'll go with the reassuring, they're probably fine. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it. 
when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Ooh, show the bite or hide the bite. Uh, right. Uh, well, must just show the bite. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Threatening our color cops. Uh, or we could just say nothing. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? I mean... I think she's a dead man. I don't think she's got much blood moving in those veins. Also, who the hell was in the basement? Who, who was the other werewolf? I mean, I think everyone... Oh. Almost everyone. Uh, yeah, I think I worked it out. Okay, let's see more.
You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Commanding, I said shut up or uncertain, Caitlin, what should I do? I mean, this guy seems to be grabby when it comes to shotguns, which is, I'm assuming, mm, well, it's not a European thing, let's put it that way. Um, I'm going to go with uncertain. Caitlin, what should I do? Because Caitlin is the right person to ask. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up! <laughs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. I'm convinced all this over a poem or curious. You said you heard a woman. Let's go with curious because questions, questions lead to more story. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story you told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. Your bracelet. Suspicious, what are you doing? Aggressive, I'll shoot you! Well, oh, jeez. Those are some options, aren't they? Um, suspicious, because we only have two. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. So yeah, the other the other werewolf in the basement, I'm assuming, is Nick. But I'm not 100%, because Nick pieced out of here not so long ago. Uh, guarded. What makes you think I know? Mean. I won't tell you. I mean, guarded. Because these are, again, two terrible, terrible options. Let's go with guarded, yeah. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Sarcastic. Have you thought about not killing him? Compassionate. Maybe there's another way. Hmm, let's go with compassion and maybe there is another way. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Mm, friendly, Chris has nothing to do with this. Aggressive, no way you're going alone. 
Yeah, maybe Chris does have nothing to do with this. I'm still not convinced that taking Chris out is the is the right solution. Let's go with friendly. Oh yeah, because there's the mention of the white wolf in the story. Maybe the white wolf is the key. Um, yeah, let's go with friendly. I'm going to show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine. Do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Suspicious, this doesn't feel right. Inquisitive, have you been there? Hmm. Yeah, I think we can go with Inquisitive on this one. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. Rage, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Uh, provoking. I should ask you the same thing. Reflective. No one knows anybody. Hmm. Yeah, reflective. No one knows anybody. Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody. Not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Back your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house. That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. I mean, that look. That look over the shoulder. I would probably give him the same look, to be honest. Compassionate. I get it. He's your friend. Angry. Whose side are you on? I'm going to go with compassionate. I get it. He's your friend. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? 
You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. Use WSND to walk. I mean, we don't have much time, but we can explore. Oh, the freaking cards. The little cards. All right. Well, who are we controlling? We're controlling Laura. I'm going to go the other side of things, see if we can find a freaking cardy card. Why do we have to do this? Because we do. There is a thing over here. A little brick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a shiny. Look at the shiny. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. And as we know, we should be able to do that again. Yeah, we can. So, show text. Uh, dear valued employee. Oh, that is never a good start to a letter. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your service at Hackett's Quarry will no longer be required. Told ya. It is my intention to return the site of the central quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. You'll be paid until the end of this coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and wish you well in all your future endeavors. Yours faithfully, Septimus Hackett. Tight bastard. Just can't pay us. Last time I trust a hack it. And it seems to be, oh yeah, that's handwritten on the bottom of the note. Septimus Hackett. Alright. Are there any more cards? Oh, they are a pain in the ass to see. No, I'm not seeing one around here. Okay, cool. Well, we got a little bit more information. Uh, we also know we can hold shift to go slightly faster. As in, from slow to not so slow? What have we got here? Hello? These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. All right, can we actually look at those? Yeah, we can. And that's what we see, some hammers and a pick. Okay, fine. Right, well, we're gonna get more information. Uh, which, which way up? Ooh, this is super dark again. Last time it was super dark, Laura, no, Laura? Hmm, Emma was walking through the woods and I had to add a Lumetri curve over the recorded video just to get a little bit of extra brightness. Hello? Hmm. Alright. The audio is coming from weird angles. Cards, cards, cards. So we don't have another card yet. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. 
Silas. Alright, cool. We got a light. Oh, these cards are a pain in the butt. At least if we have one. If we can find one, then we can we can see the old lady. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Oh, did she do a little slip? Huh. All right. Yeah, those cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cards, cards, cards. It is... It's an interesting little mini-game to make you explore a little bit more. Well, we can't go any further that way. But also... Kind of frustrating. Because I don't want to upset the lady. But it's also, like... They'll be behind you or somewhere in a weird location. There! The lovers! Ah, oh, sp speaking about weird locations, I mean, we've missed two since finding the chariot. Hmm. The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement, brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it, and tasting it could save someone's life. Is she a vampire? I love that dress. Really nice dress. Not sure about the blood accent. Also, the Cupid is about to shoot the dude through the arm, which is just going to worsen that guy's day. Is he... Is that a bandage around his neck or just kind of like a collar? Anyway, let's go back. Yeah, well, we've got at least one card, so the fortune teller lady's not going to be angry at us. And that's mostly what I wanted to... Just look at this place. Oh. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. Uh Okay. Yeah, see, if I was hanging out with someone who was becoming a, uh, a werewolf, and they were grinning at all, I'd, I'd probably get out the dog collar and the lead and just be like, nope, nope, can't do that. Oh, the, dog whistle! That's what you need. You need a dog whistle. That would probably save you from the... It's like, what is that over there? There's a little light patch. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Ah, looks like he's afraid of heights. Hmm. All right. What's around here? I guess. I guess we gotta go. Ah, oh yeah, we gotta go up through there. Right. Is there anything else we can explore around here? Ah, literally. Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. What was that scarred flesh? It's gone now. Normally you can look at something a second time, and it is literally gone. Alright. I'm gonna see if we can go left here. No, we can't. So I think that was probably just a gap in geometry. A long way down. Yeah, the little triangle over our shoulder. I think that's just a gap in geometry. Hmm, okay. Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Can we look at that again? Cave in, do not enter. Show text. Cave in, do not enter. I mean, useful, I guess. Ah, plant life on the ceiling. Hmm, indicates light. So what's your deal then? 
What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Patient. You know that's not what I meant. Or inquisitive, what box would that be? I'm gonna go with inquisitive. And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? I can un I, I yeah I can identify with them, like having a conversation and people get a little bit too close and you're just like yeah time to back out of here and do recall into your shell. It's a lot safer there, especially if the person you're with happens to have superhuman strength and a taste for raw meat. Oh, let's go forward. <gasps> Another card. Wonderful. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. They say it's America's greatest game, but apparently America has never heard of Wheel of Fortune UK edition because it was in the UK for a while. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. That's another, that's another longbow. And a white wolf. Lots of white wolves. Hmm. Alright, let's go back. I wonder how long we would have had in order to get that card. I also wonder who lit the oil lamp. Uh, I have one of those lamps. It's a hurricane lamp. Let's go this way. Looks promising. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, let's have a little look around. Do -ba -do -ba -do, look around, look around. Look around the basement. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Oh, there's some stuff here. What's gonna... <gasps> it's a singer sewing machine! I want one of those. I mean, this is just kind of... Neither here nor there, but you can get them in a little box. You turn the crank on the side. Or in this one actually has it hooked up to a foot plate. Yeah, it's completely manual. I want the one with a hand crank though. Just because I really, really like those. Oh, another hurricane lamp. I have one of those. What's going on over here? Someone like that. I'm not seeing too much stuff here to look at. Yeah, we're very close. to that. This is the forest floor just above us. Which has punched through the vaulted roof. Interesting. Uh, something over here. Shiny. Let's have a look. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are run running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the cores are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Can we look at that stuff again? Yeah, we can. All right. Interesting fact about prohibition. Uh, during Prohibition, a lot of the beer recipes were lost. And North America just kind of forgot how to make beer, which is why you get a lot of light light beers. 
things like uh, Budweiser and Coors because that's just what happened after Prohibition whereas in Europe you get things like Weissbrau um, which has things like the hops and things left in and a richer fuller bodied beer should be lovely except I don't drink alcohol so that's fun let's go this way you think this is it? Uh, beats me I'm pretty much completely lost <sighs> yeah me too Shall we? Dismissive, we have to keep moving, or honest. My bad. Uh what does either what do either of those mean? Dismissive, we have to keep moving. That makes sense. Or honest, my bad. Did she, did did Caitlin have something to do with this? Let's go with honest. Uh that's kinda my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin, this place is wrecked. <laughs> Well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought... It's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Uh, Dylan, <laughs> you're, uh... So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Mean, got something better to do, but encouraging, I need you. I, I really like Kaylin, and there's a beer ring again. 
Hmm, I'm gonna go with encouraging. I don't want Caitlyn to be a bad person. Let's go with encouraging. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. WSA indeed to walk around once more. Ooh, we're in. What's that over there? This way, come on. Oh, it's a window. To the windows, to the walls, till we get out of the tunnels, I guess. We need to find a way out of the basement. Ooh, the Emperor. Press Q to view. The Emperor, authority, paternity. Structures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Hmm. Okay, I think we found the three cards that we need for the next, uh, for the next encounter with the fortune teller. So let's go back. Nice, excellent. I think that's the first time we found all three cards between fortune teller visits. Oh. Oh, there's a red door. Do we go through the red door or do we just have a look at red? Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Who's Bobby? Oh. Wait a second. Can we look at that again? We can. Bobby. Oh, uh, is that... That's one of the hunters. Right, uh, yeah. Oh my god, all of these... Are these shoes, or are they shoe... Oh no, that's just the same thing. Are these shoes, or are they like wooden shoe forms that you put in... I can't even see. Oh no, they're bottles. Mm. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, it's a giant shoe rack. That's where my mind was. Open cage. I am not going to do that because that might let the other one out. Hey, bad idea. Oh, shit. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. 
How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee! You goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Stop Laura. Yeah, stop her. Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. We promise. <laughs> Seriously, man. They took it! You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Help Jacob or leave Jacob. I mean, Jacob's in a pretty good position. He's in an electric cage during a full moon where there were wolves, werewolves around. <sighs> we should probably help him. And that will at least get him out of there. But if we mess up, we get the other one out. Oh, I don't know. Should we help him? Let's do it. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay. So, all I know. So you have to open my door, and that door. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut help. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box, or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. So it's five, three, and not seven. Breaker one, breaker two would be. Oh god, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is additive. So if we do breaker one and breaker two, that equals three. Okay. Well done, not just the middle one, dude. Don't fuck this up. Okay, continue. I can do this, I can do this. Focus, dude, focus. So, break, uh... So, four and three would be seven. One and two would be three. And the middle one's five. But is it additive? Is it that we've done three and then it's four, five, six, seven? 
No, wait. Three or five. Mm, we're going to find out because if it is additive, two would unlock it. I guess two didn't unlock it, so two and three is five. So the first one was three, the middle one's five, and the one we don't want is seven, so it's three. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. It came into the mines. I don't I don't know if there's a way back up. Not much. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So you... You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains? You, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker! Now I'm blind. Oh, oh you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire! Ma. Don't ma! Don't ma me! Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't! Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you... Piece of shit! Yes? Gotcha. Yeah. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Her beauty is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. When I say yes, you say no. Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. 
blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Ooh, so we can see more or we can move on. Also, what the heck was that last little musical number about? I have no idea, and Laura seems to be in a bad way. Hmm, I want to see more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Try to find some clarity in the chaos. Well, I'm going to assume the lovers are Jacob and Emma. So maybe we get a little insight into their path. Wheel of Fortune, I have legit no idea. Maybe that's something to do with the White Wolf. And the Emperor, maybe that's to do with the family? I mean, the White Wolf is probably the key to getting out, but we're going to see all these anyway during the playthrough. So I'm going to say Emperor. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Depressed. No one will treat me the same. Positive. I guess it's kind of unique. I mean, he wants to be a quantum physicist. But he could get a mechanical hand, put an Arduino in it. Maybe a flamethrower. I mean, there's possibilities. It's never going to feel the same, but yeah, maybe a flashlight and a multi-tool. There's a lot of things you could do. Positive. I guess it's kind of unique. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Curious. Think we missed our shot or reflective? Need some me time. Ooh. Well, I'm going to go with curious because I want more story. Let's go with that. Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Ugh. 
Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> Annoyed, cut it out, Emma, or curious, why are you so positive? Ooh, I'm gonna go with curious because more story, yeah? Let's, yeah, let's find out what's, uh, what's driving Emma. Why are you always so positive? Ugh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Friendly. Oh, please. Curious. Is that why you do videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask her why she does the videos. Why she's a YouTuber. Is that why you do the internet video thingy? Internet video thingy? Whatever it is you call it. You know, people think influencers do it just for the attention, and maybe you do at first. But after a while, it's like, what's the difference between 4,000 rando likes and 100,000 rando likes? But I make people laugh. <laughs> I act dumb and they laugh. Maybe that makes me dumb, or maybe I just like to make people laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on, I wanna hear you say it. Fuck this night, fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch. Blow your fucking head off. Ah, bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You did to my Kaylee. I don't think we want to kill her. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody, stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up. That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. Run or distract? I want more information. We could try and run, but let's just distract. What the fuck is she doing? Hey, little bitch, you're singing off key. Ah! Ryan, run! He, he took my knife. Bet. 
No, that's disgusting. She was annoying the shit out of me. No, 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 you'll bleed out, my dude. Just leave it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Oh, oh, oh. I... What? So we're walking around with a knife in our lungs. What was that whole... What was that whole interaction there with the noise as a distraction? Laura getting shot doesn't worry me because she's turning into a werewolf anyway. The accidental gentle stabbing of Ryan seems to be a bit... weird. And the mother just seems to be... Well, someone who's lived in a house in the woods for too long and doesn't really know how to interact with other humans? I genuinely don't know what's going on with this family. They originally were protecting us. I mean, the mother is still alive because we chose not to wrestle the gun, I guess? The alternative is to shoot an old lady? I, I don't understand. I, don't, I genuinely don't understand what just went on. Okay. All right, let's move around and see if we can find anything. We've used all our cards, so cards seem to be necessary. Rescued view. Katie Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. All right. Oh, we can't read it, but we can take it. Interesting. There are only a few things in the game that you can take because there's no like inventory system. It's also super dark in here as well. Ooh, all right. Did I? I got the card, yes. Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation. Often interpreted it as a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it just means death. I think a bacon for the hopeful would be useful. Let's go back. We're on top of the wardrobe of all places. Oh, wardrobe has a thing. Weird. Can we look at the wardrobe again? We can. Do we get to actually just look inside it? Empty. We can move the camera around a little bit, but it wants to snap back in. I was hoping we would find Narnia. Someone who's got a hunting knife stuffed into the side of their bodies. Pretty chill. Is this a... what is this, a raised bed? I'm sorry, what was in the bucket? Oh, it's a poop bucket. Why... why is there... why is there a poop bucket in here? And why would you poop? I mean, 
P do do your number one, but not your number two, and just leave it under the bed. That doesn't make sense. Oh, that's probably the worst thing we've seen all night. Doing your peas and poops under the bed. Uh, block door or hide? Well, let's just hide. Under the bed or in the cabinet? Oh, let's do the cabinet. I'm close. Stand by. Over. to look around. I'm not entirely sure what we're looking for around here, so let's go and find the shiny we can, which is here. was that? Let's look again. Uh, nope. It's, it's so dark, we can't even see what it is. Also, interestingly... Oh, ice cream. Wait, seriously? No, that is genuinely ice cream. I thought this was a spooky house in the woods, but apparently it is packing ice cream. Nice. Uh, let's see, is there anything around here that we can find? No. None. Maybe we could pick a knife up from the kitchen. Oh, a giant vase. Yeah, this is super dark. And the thing is, she had a light on the end of her shotgun. We know this because we saw it. We've seen it active before, so when the lantern was turned out, there was legitimately no way. She should just turn the torch on. Weird. Uh, what about here? Alright, I guess we're doing a little bit more walking. I'm looking around. I want to see if we can find any more cards, because we burned the last three. Alright. Living room? No, will the living room have stairs in it? I don't know. We got a door. A vase. A very nice rug, which could do a little cleaning. 
Uh, skulls? Skulls for the Skull Throne. Blood for the Blood God. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much in here. So we got a couple of choices. Do we get to go upstairs? I'm going to say, I'm going to look, look at the door in the corner and see if we can, in fact, use door corner. No. Corner door is not a thing that we can use. Okay. Right. Well, we've done it once round of this room. Skulls for the skull throne. Ah. Paintings. Interesting. I wonder if we can find the one of Dorian Gray. That would be one worth looking at. What is here? Books and a bit of <gasps> shiny. Cool, we found the bathroom. It is a bathroom. Plastic shower curtain. I mean, easy to clean, I guess. Uh, empty bath, kind of expected a bit of blood. Let's inspect the Thunderbox. Thunderbox is probably full of poo. A weirdly high sink. Yeah, an insanely high sink. Weird. Oh, hello. Found the dojo. Dojo. Oh. All right, so that's a lot of weight. What have we got here? Is that a radio or a Betamax? Mm, okay. There was something, was there something over here? Was it a shiny over here? No, The Nature of Evil. A film by Mario Martino. Oh, VHS. Okay, it's a VHS player. All right, let's see if the door's open. Uh, interesting. I can see all of ass of nothing, but I guess we have to go into the light. Typically, that's the way you go. Broken glass. This is a giant room with wallpaper peeling off of it. I'm going to have to amp this up in Premiere, aren't I? Because I can see ass all of nothing. Hmm. Okay. I wonder, I wonder, these corridors are very wide. I wonder if at some point we're going to be running through them going, oh no, oh no. Like when the outside is lighter than the inside, it's definitely a problem. Lamp, very nice lamp. Yeah, these are giant ass corridors. I thought that was an ass, but it's two uh, two vases together. Uh, mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the doggiest of them all? It's you. You're a good dog. You say indeed a walk. This is a weird one. Oh, piano. Play question mark. No, we're trying to be stealthy. But it's nice that we can look at the Steinway. Right. What's over here? The spoils of Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Let's go back. Can we look at it again? Yep. That's a bear skull. Interesting. Candle. Who lights the candles? It's like finding... Oh, more hunting trophies. It's like finding finding a dungeon with a load of lit braziers in it. 
left and right in this weird ante room, which is literally just an ante room with a radiator on the wall, a study, and another VHS player. Oh, hello. Can we look at that again, please? We can. Show text. These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When the camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. He's got to come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. T. Oh. So Sheriff Hackett organized the... Is it Sheriff Hackett? Is T? Interesting. And there is a mention of the White Wolf again. And I think they must be onto the same thing that we are. Is the white wolf we need to take out to make everyone not not werewolf? Oh, interesting. That's kind of what I thought. All right, let's go back. I tell you what, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you want notifications, dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications, don't dingle the bingle. And I tell you what, I'll catch you next time. Wrapped up in my lover's